I had no idea um, that somewhere like the beaches existed. Um, I think I might have learned about it during an NCT class. I didn't know that postpartum psychosis um, existed either. The Beaches is a six bedded mother and baby unit. We um, take ladies who are from 32 weeks pregnant up until their baby is the age of one if needed. The types of ladies that we take, they may present with postpartum psychosis, postpartum depression, intrusive thoughts, severe anxiety, um, post-traumatic stress disorder from traumatic labour or pregnancy. We take ladies who may have never had a mental health problem before, um, but from pregnancy or birth they've developed one. We have um, women who may have already had a previous mental health diagnosis and this has got worse since having a baby. I didn't actually realise that I needed uh, mental health support. Um, it was my family that realised that I was severely poorly with postpartum psychosis. I don't actually remember coming here. I don't remember perhaps the first couple of days. Um, it was only when my medication was sorted that I began to like, understand where I was and why I was here. Coming to the beaches can be a really scary experience initially for the mums. I think kind of choosing and agreeing to come away from their home environment and bring their baby with them can be really nerve wracking. So we make sure that at first they feel comfortable. We want to welcome them, orientate them onto the ward and just kind of provide them with that homely environment and make sure that they feel settled and safe. And we have what you'd expect to have at home, so kitchen that you have access to, lounge, dining area, your own individual bedroom, and then we have a nursery and sensory room that you can also use with baby. It's not like a typical hospital ward, which is probably my um, preconception of what the beaches would be like. It's a much more homely, inviting environment, more a home from home experience. This is typically how um, a bedroom looks. The aim of the bedroom is to make mum feel as comfortable as possible while she's here. So every room is set up very similar. They all have their own bed, they all have their own cot, desk, wardrobe, and lots of information in the room to enable the mum to settle quite quickly. This is mum's space. This is mum and baby's space. As I started to get better, um, I was able to um, go through a care plan, a care plan for myself. So it was very much a part of my own care and my my own recovery. A care plan is a plan that we develop with the patient, and if there are any changes that need to be made, you know, to the care plan, it is made, you know, within the MDT, which comprises of uh, uh, us, the staff at the beaches, uh, their families, and of course our, our patient in the middle. Being involved in my own care plan meant that I had some control over um, my route to recovery. And I think when you come to somewhere like the beaches, you almost feel that everything is a bit out of control. So having that um, care plan in place and knowing that there's steps being taken to get you home again is a really nice thing to, to be, be a part of. It was very important to me, but also the nurses helped facilitate a sort of routine for Fabian. It was important to get feeding correct, uh, sleep routine correct. Things like bath time were really important, um, sort of a bedtime routine with stories and, and baby sensory, baby massage, that sort of thing. And that was all on hand to, to do and facilitated by the nursery nurses, which was really nice. So this is where we used to do baby sensory. Sometimes we did baby massage or baby yoga led by one of the nursery nurses. This room isn't typically a sort of hospital environment. It's a very relaxing space. It's something that's important to the baby's development and something that you would like to do, you know, either at home or go to a class. So the fact that they can replicate that here on site of the beaches is really lovely. So there is a fridge available at the beaches. Um, in the kitchen so you can um, bring your own food on site. I think it's really important to be able to just maintain an element of normal life. So having food available to you that you would normally have at home is really, really important. When I had my daughter back in 2020, I suffered from multiple mental health problems during my pregnancy and postnatally. I didn't know 
perinatal mental health existed until I actually struggled with it. So I went through the perinatal service and I got support until my daughter was 14 months old. I think having the personal experience that I had gone through helps me empathise with patients more than what I would have been able to if I'd got this job and not had personal experience myself. I feel like I understand their worries and their concerns more and the fears that they have. The nurses and doctors were all fantastic at the beaches, um, made some really good, good friends. We had a laugh, obviously it's a very difficult time in many ways, it's quite scary, it's an anxious time, it's difficult for yourself but it's also difficult for your family but the nurses and doctors are very supportive and if you can have a laugh about it along the way, it just obviously lightens the mood. Seeing a mum come in with a baby, um, quite unwell and poorly, um, struggling and being, being able to help her through that and see the progress and the recovery she actually makes and seeing her go home, whether that's to a wider family unit or whether that's just herself and the baby, but the progress that she then makes and how good she feels in herself, it's the most rewarding job. My son's a year old now and I'm back at work full time, I'm off my medication and for me normal life has resumed. I know when you're in the middle of it you feel like it's never going to end, that you're never going to get better but I can assure you that, that you will come out the other side of it and you'll be thankful and appreciative of your time at the beaches. <laughs>